He wants you to feel the guts on its songs. The guts, the blood, and the sweat, and the tears, <laughs> and the nightmares, and the <laughs> wet dreams, all of that. He was a mix of all of that. Aloha, thank you for watching. I'm Sira Dester and I channel a group of spirits I call the Wild Ones. And it's been a while since my last video, I think three months. I've been uh, through stuff <laughs> like everybody, I think. And today I'm alone at home and I have some time and yeah I decided that I should do something um, I really I really don't know who might come through or if I'm going to channel am I in trans channeling because I haven't done that in a long time and it's a bit um, I get more anxious about it when I haven't I haven't done it in a while. Um, okay, so I'll go straight to it. If um, I'm just gonna ask if there is any spirit that would like to come forward uh, today and share some message. Um, so, I, I keep feeling Jeff Buckley, I already channeled him two years ago, I think, um, but I've been feeling him uh, very close lately, maybe because his birthday is coming um, in a few days, and yeah, I usually feel their energies more vividly during birthdays or death anniversaries than I, I have talked about it in other videos. Um, so I don't know what he would like to say. I'm not sure if I want to turn the channel it right now. And he's saying that it's okay. And he doesn't need that. Um, he's saying, I'm not really good with words <laughs> at the end. Um, I was, I was much better with music. <clears throat> with emotions and I know everybody is feeling overwhelmed at the end of this year and I, I can say things are going to get better um, that would be a false promise um, and you don't do that from this side. Um, when you're when you're young, people tell you things will get better, but they you should don't. It's like saying that they will they won't be more problems, there won't be more issues coming up. But that's life. Things is saying shit. It's always going to happen. Um, you will be heartbroken over and over, you will be hurt, disappointed, upset, angry, super angry, and you can't avoid that unless you stop being human <laughs> and you want to be a rock and that's that's okay but it's not possible at this moment and I want to say, I want to say it's okay <clears throat> to be hurt, to be 
to be sad, to cry, to feel depressed, to not be, not wanting to get up in the bed many times, all the time. <clears throat> um, give yourself permission. I know the world doesn't seem to give you permission to feel bad and to feel destroyed inside. <laughs> He's doing that voice <laughs> and that, that face. Um, but maybe the world doesn't allow it, but that doesn't mean that you don't need it. Um, so do what is necessary to find the time to give yourself permission to feel like shit. Um, it's part of life, it's part of life, you can run from it. Um, there will be wars, there will be deaths, there will be loss all the time, all the time. There will be tears, but rest assured that there will be also laughter and joy and ecstasy and jokes, silly jokes, bad jokes, <laughs> good jokes. <laughs> uh, and there will be misunderstanding and there will be moments of deep understanding between people. And you gotta you gotta embrace it all. And the way you do it is that you keep your business to yourself. You don't get involved with other people's business. Um if others want to fuck around, that's their thing. Um, you do you. You um, clean your shit. Keep your shit clean. <laughs> and don't, don't waste time judging what others do, what others, nations do, governments do, neighbors do, friends, partners, former, boyfriends, lovers, enemies, poets, writers, actors, TV anchors, <laughs> why is he saying all that? Um, it's just the things that trigger you in your everyday life. It's not yours. It's not just your co-worker or your or your husband or your kid. There is also you might feel things from a lot of people at the same time because you are all cells of the same body you forget about it but you we are all connected and we feel others pain and we feel others uh, sadness or frustration and it happens all the time from uh, your teachers your boss um, the barista <laughs> um, The dog, the car that hasn't been cleaned, it's all dusty and the car is sad and frustrated too and you pick it up and you feel that and the street is dirty and the chair is tired, <laughs> the chair is tired of your uh, butt <laughs> sitting on it all the time. So there is a lot happening all the time and you're feeling a lot all the time and that is wonderful because you can take that and make a song and write a poem. Um, you can have sex with it. <laughs> you can bump fists with it. I have no idea what he's trying to say at this moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's saying, you know, you know what I mean. 
um, or you can sleep about it and you can transmute it in your dreams or whatever but you need to do something about the things you feel, the way you feel that is not blaming others because of it um, you can blame the chair <laughs> for getting tired of uh, so many people sitting on it all the time but you can do something about it um, you can acknowledge the chair and acknowledge uh, its tiredness and that will help you know how sometimes um, you don't need you don't exactly need a solution you just need to talk about it vent about it and you talk it with a friend and you immediately feel lighter um, because your friend is you you can feel his, it's caring about you in some way just by listening and that's nice <laughs> so it's nice for it's nice for the chair too but that's just a random example because um, I mean it about everything I mean sometimes I would pick my guitar and like I would I was playing so good the day before and then the next day it was awful and it was it was like my fingers, I couldn't get anything right. And now I realized it was because the guitar felt I was using it and not loving it. So it's not like you fake love. It's not like I'm gonna love my neighbor who is an asshole. You don't have to do that because fake love means zero has no effect really except that draining your energy because you're trying too hard um it's more like you realize your neighbor has its own life its own issues its own way to see the world that you can understand is their own business and you have no idea about it what's going on so you just stay in your lane so it's not like you need to know what's going on with everything all the time just acknowledge that everything is going through something everything and everyone is going through something that you don't know anything about and you can take care of yourself you can play the songs you love you can dance whenever you want it silly dances <clears throat> and even when you don't feel like you love yourself and just a reminder again that you don't need to fake love to yourself just assure your body and your mind that you're listening and you want to take care of what is happening that you want to hug your feelings and you want to hug yourself even if you're in war with your mind, with your body, with your emotions, you can still just 
embrace them and I'm seeing a butterfly. <laughs> I haven't seen much butterflies um, this spring. So that was nice. Uh, sorry. He's changed its subject dramatically, I think. <laughs> um, he's, he wants to talk about his birthday. Yeah. He said that he never felt quite comfortable, comfortable with his birthdays. Uh, because, because his dad wasn't there. So there is still a bit of hurt about it. There are still memories of sadness and anger about his, um, his birthday. And also because uh, he changed his name. You know, if you don't know Jeff, um, it's Jeffrey Scott Buckley, and his family uh, always call him Scotty until he was a teenager. Yeah. And he changed it, uh, he decided to go as Jeff. And he also had another last name for some time because of his um, stepdad. So he was Scotty Moorhead. Um, so he's saying that he's still working on reuniting those aspects. It's like he was two different, two different boys when he was young. Um, the son of Tim Buckley. And the son of um, the son of his mother. Um, it was like he didn't want to remind um, to his mother. Um, he didn't want it she would look at him and think about his dad because he knew it was painful for her so he had to tone down his buckling buckleness <laughs> yeah um and it was one of the reasons he didn't sing as much when he was young in fact, uh, a lot of people did, was totally surprised he started singing. I mean, he was he made a record a record deal as a singer because everybody knew he was uh, playing instruments, um, but not everybody knew he also sing could sing. And one of the reasons was was because he had a hard time. Reconciling with the voice of his father, his father and his grandfather, and the voice of his um, ancestors from his father's side. Mm. That goes back to traditional. Irish songs? Irish singers? Um, what else? Well, he has said this in other... in, in the previous channelings that he... <clears throat> He's grateful uh, for everybody that 
lights a candle for him and for everybody that has drowned um, he died in water drowned in water um, <clears throat> so he his soul is connected with the group of souls that left the earth that way uh, so if you're lighting a candle for him or um, I, I have seen people well I have done it myself uh, making a little altar with flowers and he likes that he is grateful for it um, just He just was, wants people to remember that he's just one more. <laughs> one of many artists that had died a young age, one of many young men, young men dying um, at an early age. Um, he knows people connect to his sons um, and he appreciates that <laughs> um, but he's not he doesn't like much of the, the praise of idolizing him or saying that he's an angel or that even he has the voice of an angel um, <laughs> Um, <clears throat> because it makes it makes him feel like um, he wants you to feel the gods on its songs, not only the ethereal ethereal stuff, um, the guts, the blood, and the sweat and the tears. <laughs> and the nightmares and the <laughs> wet dreams and everything all of that he was a mix of all of that not just the the core core boy boys um yeah and um okay what else He's saying that it's not time, the one that goes uh, fast, it's or unwillingness to slow down and be present because we're running from the same he was saying at the beginning running from emotions or running from feeling too much um, he's saying this is very corny <laughs> but you want to live longer or smell the flowers Um, and you're missing that friend just call him call her just do it if he or she is busy she will tell you but tomorrow might be too late He's saying 
there is war happening since the beginning of civilization. Now the voices are amplified. Everybody has a platform of uh, some sort. Um, news are amplified. So feelings are also amplified. And everything feels in the age. All lives are equally significant. All lives are equally sacred. You are not the one to say who deserves to live or not. You are not the one that can say that someone is useless or meaningless because the way they spend their time, because of their activities, their career, their choices. Everything is significant for their own lives. So all lives deserve respect and consideration. <clears throat> there is so much stuff happening behind the veil of reality. You can never really know the path someone is really tracing in their lives. Sometimes it may seem one step forward, three step backs, and but maybe they are going farther than you. So stay in your lane. Mind your business. Be kind. Say I'm sorry when you need it, when you fuck it up. Be strong enough to to say you're sorry and act like you're really sorry. Go and listen to music, open your ears, open your eyes. You're not alone. And I love you. Okay, so I think that's it. He's saying uh, as the last words, if I could, I would give a rose to everybody. And I would like you to smell it and to touch it and to see how it fades and die. So thank you. <sighs> for sticking <laughs> um, with the channel after 
this long pause and I wish you peace um, at this moment and for the rest of the year take care and hopefully <laughs> see you soon thank you for joining please like subscribe share everything helps thank you much aloha and peace